And we are coming to you live from Performance Arena here at Capital University, the big house for a contest between Cinnerberg and Afrocentric here in the district title game. Stay with us for the Webs Marathon and Automotive pregame show coming up next. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management. The Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Open Road has really come to this community with Best Foot Forward and they have set a good example for what a solar project should look like. It's about preserving land and dual use farming. People are using the solar opportunity to, you know, add another source of income to their farms. Fortune 500 companies really want to see renewables on the grid and that's what we're helping to do. So that brings more jobs, better opportunities for recent graduates like myself to stay in Ohio and stay near our communities, our home, our families. Guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. Report fans, it's time for the Webb's Marathon and Automotive pregame show. Presented by Webb's Marathon and Automotive. Now let's take a look at the Centerburg Trojans first and foremost this season. Really cruising along nicely. Able to pick up a couple of big wins late in this tournament. First one against Worthington Christian, 42 to 36. And then against Cardington, we were able to cover both of that one and able to assert their upper hand in both of those games. Let's take a look at the player spotlight. It's Kayla Laramore. What else can you say? She's a KMAC Player of the Year. She averages 19.4 points per game, 5.2 rebounds per game. She's shooting 54%. Anytime you're making more than half of your shots, you got to feel good about your chances coming into a game. Now let's take a look at the keys to victory for the Trojans. 
They're going to need to maximize pressure as much as they can. This isn't a team that really turns the ball over too often, and they got to diminish those scoring opportunities. This is a team that scores on average almost 70 points a game and asserted their will over teams in Division Two, II, Division One. One of the only teams they lost to is actually the leader in Division Two right now, number one team. So they have really got to make sure that they've get out on these passing lanes and get out on these scoring lanes to make sure that they're not putting the ball in the basket. Now let's take a look at the K-Max standings. Centerberg winning this one pretty handily by a victory there over Cardington and Danville tied for the second spots. Now let's take a look at team spotlight for the Afrocentric early college Nubians. And as we said, scoring 70.6 points per game, 22 rebounds, shooting 41% as a team and 36% from three-point line. That's absolutely incredible as a team. They're 23-2 and 14-0 and in the Columbus City Conference. They're coached by Janica Anderson. Now let's take a look at our player spotlight. It's Cameron Grant. Grant this season with 16.2 points per game, also shooting 54%, averaging 3.8 rebounds per game. The 5'7 point guard has had her way this season. Let's take a look at the keys to victory. So of course they've got to stop Laramore. We've seen it so many times. And of course Centerberg does have other scores and people like Kinley Farrell, Clara Johnson, but you know, a huge part of that offense is they work through Laramore to work the ball into her, and she is able to get a lot of baskets, but this squad is so strong. If they're able to stop Laramore and shut down a few other scoring opportunities, they may be able to pick up a decisive victory here and perhaps a strong press. We've seen one of the weaker spots of Centerberg is when they're not settled down, when they're not taking their breath, sometimes throw the ball away susceptible to those turnovers so that strong press can really be handy for them now let's take a look at the Columbus City standings and Afrocentric winning this one easily 14 and 0 in the conference not even close tied for second place was Walnut Ridge and Eastmore Academy look here at both sides. That was your Webb's Marathon and Automotive pregame show. And preparations being taken. Both teams know that this is going to be tough. A lot of good matchups that we're looking forward to on both sides of the ball. That motivation being sparked. They want that district championship. They know what's on the line here. A huge thank you to Capital University for hosting us in this beautiful facility. From what I read online, it's 2,200 seats available to host tournaments and conferences. They are beautiful facilities here. We thank them for having us. If you're watching at home, let us know your predictions for tonight's game. Let us know who, you, who you're rooting for. Let us know where you're watching from. We always love to hear that. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Kappa University welcomes you to this Kennard Scholastic Contest featuring the home team, Columbus Afrocentric High School, and the away team, Centerburg High School. To honor America at this time, we invite you to We will pause the for the national anthem. Our national anthem.
with pleasantries being made, we are getting ready to play basketball here. Your attendance and support of the student athletes is appreciated by member schools competing for the right to move on. We are excited for this contest, as I think everyone in the arena is. Both teams, or both crowds, have followed these teams all season long. They've gotten to know these players well. They've seen their success, and they're bought in. The officials for this game are Valerie Griffin, Megan Scott, Asia Glenn, and Ethan Quinn. The athletes, coaches, and officials are guests of Capital University. All fans are asked to respect the effort. Of course, that sportsmanship message being made, reminding fans that this is a contest for the students. And they want to keep it that way. Spectators are encouraged to be passionate, but to keep it respectful. So can truly be about the students and providing the best possible experience for them. The non-starters, number zero, Keva Knight. Now starter is being introduced number four, Taylor for Knight. Centerburg Trojans. Number 13, Abby Dickerson. Number 22, Chesney Farrell. Number 30, Gabby Winger. Number 55, Kara Ross. And now the starters for Centerburg High School. Number two, Phoebe Stowe. Number three, Tiara Shepard. Number 21, Clara Johnson. Tiara Shepard, her and Number Kayla Laramore are such a great one-two punch together. They're so strong in the post, but they can stretch it out and through, shoot the three ball so reliably. Been such a deadly duo all season long. Everyone on this Trojan squad contributing. And now Afrocentric early college Nubians being introduced. So final huddles being made, and for one of these teams, the road to glory will continue. For the other, it will end tonight. But not in vain. Both of these teams have so much to show for from this season. Now making their way to the floor. So crowd continuing to file in. Bit of a drive for Centerberg fans. And tip off goes to Afrocentric, and that's where we'll begin. So Centerberg coming out in a 3 2 style zone here. And inside they dish it off. That's Samaria Thompson, who gets the first basket of the game. And so coming out in that three-quarter press. 
But they get it across half court and Nubians applying maximum pressure as they're way up that floor. But as are the Trojans, really no one down low in that post, but they're running folks through like a UCA st UCLA style, the 1-4 high where they set that high screen off the ball, rotate through the baseline. Clara Johnson comes up with it. Now a double dribble called. And a shot just short, but inside the offensive rebound, points go to Cameron Grant. And Clara Johnson with the left hand, picks up the second defender, that one through the hands of Shepard, but Stowe there to corral. trying to find an opening in this defense. And Laramore too hard off the backboard. Nubians with pace. Grant dishes it off and hammered. So. Evie Stowe picks up the foul there. Go to the line for two free throws. So can't get the first. She'll have another shot at things here. Trying to push the lead to five. And can't get the second, so an empty opportunity there. A hard screen set by Laramore for Stowe, but out in front, active hands from Ashton Winfrey. Winfrey picks up the steal. They've got numbers two on one. The Euro step, can't get it. Rebound goes to Grant, and she gets her second basket of the night. So another turnover there. That one poked out of bounds. Checking in for every center, number four, Denia Bowers. Centerbird called 30 second timeout. Centerbird timeout. So a 30 second timeout called by Centerbird. So, Sinnerberg scoreless so far to this point. And you feel like the tide would really turn if she could get that, or if they could get that first basket of the game. In flow of things, but Shepard gets the rebound. They look for their first scoring opportunity of the night. And closely guarded. 
out of the hands of Stowe. She tries to save it and looks like she does. And a kick, so we'll start again. And hard screen set by Laramore, but Stowe and Shepard not on the same page, but Farrell there to clean things up. On the floor. Another look at that one on the Webbs on Marathon the and Automotive Replay. So Chesney Farrell will pick up the foul. Checking in, I'm sorry. Good hands there by Kinley Farrell, but gets by her a good look. Can't get the rebound, or gets the offensive rebound. Foul will send someone to the line for two. Take a look at that on the floor. Loose ball. Goes up with the first free throw. Up with the second. And Samara Thompson couldn't get the free uh, second free throw. Inside of four minutes, Trojans yet to be on the board. Just a lot of parallel drib dribbling right now, just trying to keep in possession of things. That one's behind Laramore. Dribb dribbling right now, just trying to Keep in Third possession of over the quarter. That one's behind for the Trojans. <laughs> Working the ball around that three point line. And a double dribble. Working the ball around that three point line. And a double. That full court press really wear a team down. Five seconds, a quick five. Trojans just looking for an answer. They inbound it to Nataya Nelson. And a three on the wing. Janiah Bowers couldn't get it to go. Shepard takes a few dribbles, trying to back down Thompson. Poked out, so. Trojans will keep control of things here. And a good inbound pass, but even better read by Nataya Nelson, who comes up with the steal. And Laramore fouls Cameron Grant Lead by Nataya Nelson. Another look at that one. And gonna make her earn it at the line for two. Team's third foul, first for Laramore. Front iron just a bit flat, so. She'll have a second try here. Yeah. 
And can't get the second, but offensive rebound. Rebound goes to Nelson, but Laramore pulls it away. They've got to move, and they do. Stowe gets it across half court, hands it off to Farrell. Farrell closely guarded by Faith Martin. Shepard backs away in the rejection. Shepard trying to backs away get the ball in, in the, the direction of the basket. Tipped by Shepard now. A jump ball. So a couple of Trojans checking back onto the floor. Cara, Clara Johnson and Kennedy Glenn. It's like a two, one, one one press so trying to stack that ball handler well now that shoes are tied looks like a one two two really pressing far up making her earn every foot of the space that she can get the crossover gets her this time all the way to the floor dishes it off to the wing they slow things down once again. And Laramore trapped. And a foul. Something is called here. And Laramore trapped. And a foul. Nubian's ball with less than a minute 30 left in the first quarter. And Johnson did a good job getting her hand on that one. The shot from Winfrey won't go. Players running into each other. And Johnson has a lane, but she pulls it back out. And she's called for the travel. And Johnson has a lane, but she Picks pulls up it that back pivot out, foot, dragging it when she was looking for an option. Shawnee Little checking back into the game for Ashton Winfrey. Faith Martin takes the ball up the floor. And right to that free throw line, Cameron Grant can't get the jump shot, but they save it. And a hard shot off the basket won't go. Rebound goes to Johnson. Inside of 20 seconds, and she travels. Goes to Johnson. And so the pressure inside Even of 20 when you seconds. And don't see it, it's having its effect. She was looking for someone to pass to and the pressure right in her face, couldn't find anybody in that back pivot foot. Dragging with the toe. Three ball, they're gonna give it to her. Janaya Bowers. And after one quarter of play, Afrocentric leading this one 10 to zero over Centerberg. Stay with us for second quarter action coming up next. From primary care to orthopedics, 
women's health. To pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Bryce Cutter with the OH Report coming back to you for second quarter action here with the OH Report. And Afrocentric leading this one over Centerburg 10 to 0. And six turnovers in that first quarter for the Trojans. A good look inside for Nataya Nelson. Nelson uh, Grant, the leading scorer for the Nubians with four. Stowe having trouble, trapped in that backcourt. Overhand pass to Laramore. Now they have numbers. Shepard coming into one. The upper center foul, number five, Sam Thompson, her first, team first. That backcourt, overhand pass to Laramore. Now one. they have numbers. Shepard coming into one. Not exactly straight up there, so Shepard will get them on the board for the first time tonight. And can't get the second. And the three. No dice. Shepard comes up with the rebound. And they have been battling in that regard. Rebounds equal at five. And Johnson, the pump fake, takes the drive but sends it back out. Some more handling mistakes on the fast break. Nataya Nelson with the right hand. And a foul there. Handling mistakes. Another look on at the that fast, fast break, break layup Nataya all Nelson. the way home. Kinley Farrell checking back into the game for the Trojans. And a steal, and another one. But a foul called. Look at that exchange. And a steal, and another one. Both sides exchanging possession but ending in a foul, so going to the line for two will be Ashton Winfrey. Or I'm sorry, that's Shauna Little. Didn't see the other one. And can't get the first free throw. She'll have a second chance here. And gets the second. So a timeout called. So 15 to one, that's a tough score, but Centerberg trying to fight, get back into this game. Definitely not over.
Now both teams back to the floor. Pressure still on. And foul called along that sideline. Just a bit too much contact. And this crowd thinking that, along that she went into her. Trojan stacking things out of the sideline. They need forward movement here. There they go. Johnson finds a lane with the left hand. She takes it straight up. She gets fouled. Another look at that one. Johnson Active finds hands. a lane with the left hand. She and takes it straight up. She gets fouled. Wraps her up. Make her earn it at the line. Johnson gets the first free throw. She'll try for two. And she does. Makes her the game's leading scorer for the Trojans. Good read by Farrell to get out there, but just a bit too late. And Janaya Bowers knocks home a three ball. And turnover there. Nubian's doing a good job of keeping that pressure sustained and they don't look fatigued in the slightest. PA called that shot a three ball, but ruled a two, so 17 to three score. And just a bit too much force. Laramore the rebound. Trying to set a screen, just slips it. Gets knocked out, steal goes to Little. Points go to Little. This crowd erupting. Laramore just throws it out of bounds. So a chance now, they send it out to Bowers. And overshot three from Winfrey. Farrell driving against Winfrey. With the right hand, overshot, offensive rebound, Laramore. Laramore gets a basket. And a dish down low. Farrell, too late on the passing lane. Three ball, overshot, offensive rebound. Give the credit to Javiana Brown. Kennedy Glenn checking back in for Centerburg. Also back in for center number three, Faith Martin. Faith Martin checking in for the Nubians. Farrell picks up her dribble. 
She sees Elaine taking it with the right hand. Perhaps some signs of life for the Trojans. They certainly feel it. Steps into a jump shot. Back iron and a jump ball. They certainly feel it. Steps into a jump that shot. Exchange there, both players Back going iron for a rebound, and a jump ball. But Nubians will keep possession after the jump ball. Cameron Grant, our player spotlight tonight. Checking back into the game. Motion off that screen, running the horn into the corners. Looks like their move off. Fast break, they do get it across half court. And Farrell's been getting a lane. She gets another one. And we're within 10. You can see them trying to bring up the intensity. Trojans want to travel. Glenn trying to find someone she does. Stowe pushing the floor. She has a wide open lane. And a foul. Looks like down low in the post is what she was referencing to. And, and pushing there. Oh, it's a double foul they'll call. This one, this one hurting the Trojans more than the Nubians as that's Laramore's second foul. Thrown into the backcourt. It's where they'll collect it. This crowd trying to root their team back into this game. You can see the intensity in their cheering. Glenn, no dice. Trapped in the corner is Stowe. Keeps a cool head, sends it back to the wing. Glenn battling inside on the mismatch. She gets fouled and one. An athletic play. Or, I'm sorry, that's Johnson. Clara Johnson athletic play. Get another look at that one. Wing. Glenn battling inside on the mismatch. She gets fouled and one. Johnson will go to the line for one to put them within single digits. Can't get the free throw. And a turnover, so creating opportunities for themselves now. But a turnover right back and a foul just reaching over. Clara Johnson's first foul. like they're putting a little bit more pressure up higher. Falling away, Cameron Grant kick, can't get the shot, but Kenley Farrell fighting for that rebound. She gets it to Johnson. Screen set by Laramore, moving across that free throw line. Shepard, short shot, rebound to Grant on the fast break, Winfrey. Too hard, Winfrey gets her own rebound. So running into a trap there, a block foul called. Yeah, 
Another look at that one. Look for the feet. So and running looks into like she was moving just a bit to her left. So first free throw will go. Lead cut to 11. Back in Brown, the center, number 25, J.B. Anna Brown. And entering the center, number 22, Tiffany Carroll. Second opportunity is good. So making it count at the free throw line, and that's what has kept them in this game. A few huge momentum plays for the Trojans. Shepard too late on the passing lane. The jump shot. Foul is called going up. Shepard too late on the passing lane. The jump shot. Another look there. Laramore's foul is third foul. They credit her with that one. They do. Samara Thompson gets the free throw. Look at our Monarch Title Services scoreboard. Under 40 seconds remaining in the half stay tuned with us for the halftime show presented by West and a pass off the foot they hold on to possession shepherd the spin move with the left hand Crowd wants to travel. Coach Anderson instructing her team keep their hands up. Shepard the air ball. Inside 10 seconds on the floor. They don't, the shot does go up but it's too hard. So after two quarters of play, Afrocentric leading this one 24 to 13 over Centerburg. Stay with us for the halftime show presented by Webb's Marathon and Automotive coming up next. Open Road has really come to this community with Best Foot Forward and they have set a good example for what a solar project should look like. It's about preserving land and dual use farming. People are using the solar opportunity to, you know, add another source of income. To Hi, I'm Owens Report founder Brian Skaronski and you were just watching live and free Girls High School Hoops exclusively on the OH Report. But stick around, the halftime show is next, including stats, analysis, and so much more, including the second half on the way. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Open Road has really come to this community with Best Foot Forward and they have set a good example for what a solar project should look like. It's about preserving land and dual use farming. People are using the solar opportunity to, you know, add another source of income to their farms. Fortune 500 companies really want to see renewables on the grid and that's what we're helping to do. So that brings more jobs, better opportunities for recent graduates like myself to stay in Ohio and stay near our communities, our home, our families.
guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors for allowing us to be live and free every single night right here on the OH Report. We'd like to thank Monarch Title Services without the support of Rochelle Sammons and her crew at Monarch Title. Centerberg Basketball would not be available live and free to Trojan fans. If you're selling or refinancing your real estate, you get to choose the title company. Why not support those who support the Trojans and close with confidence anytime, anywhere? Spherion, Mid-Ohio, let us help you build the career you want or the awesome team you want. We build real relationship with, with you so we can understand what you need and get it to you fast. Webbs Marathon Automotive, stop by Webbs Marathon to join the Webbs Rewards Program where you can earn dollars off fuel and free drinks and coffee. Go Trojans! Home and Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. And Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for community. Again, without your support, we wouldn't be able to bring fans alive and free high school sports action every single night. So thank you, and please support our generous sponsors.
Cutter with the OH Report, and we are coming to you live from Capital University Performance Arena for Webb's Marathon and Automotive Halftime Show. Tough contest here after Centric leading 24 to 13, able to establish a quick, quick lead, holding Centerberg scoreless for several minutes. But Centerberg found the will to continue fighting, and that's what they've been doing. Free throws have really been their friend. Let's take a look at the halftime stats. And so the Trojans with four field goals, nine rebounds, 10 turnovers, seven fouls, and five free throws. The Nubians with eight field goals, three or two three pointers, 13 rebounds, four turnovers, three fouls, and three free throws. So really the story has been that dominant interior performance. They've been able to knock down a lot of jump shots the Nubians have, but the Trojans fighting a lot of momentum plays that were crucial to their progress, such as the and one from Clara Johnson and a lot of really good motion towards the basket. And that's what it's gonna take is getting to that free throw line, putting the ball in the basket on the shot you're taking contact on. Lead only at 11, so anything could happen in the remainder of this game. Both teams traveling a bit to be here tonight on neutral ground. Again, thank you to Capital University Athletics Department for allowing us to be here in their beautiful facilities. So eight field goals for the Nubians and really able to get them in flow and get those baskets created off of those passing uh, opportunities. Good job of keeping their head up and finding open receivers and it's led to a lot of easy baskets for them and the pressure, especially early on, was especially difficult for the Trojans to handle. So we're ready to go for third quarter action here at Performance Arena. That one poked out of bounds. And shooting into that one, Nataya Nelson. Able to get it across half court with relative ease this time. Laramore too hard off the basket, but Johnson there to clean it up. Winfrey setting up her offense, sending that baseline runner. Shawnee Little with the skip pass, finds Grant inside. Can't get it to go, but Shepard and Glenn credit them with the rebound. And this crowd is satisfied with those one possessions And miscommunication there.
Grant gets the basket to go. That makes her the game's leading scorer. Followed in second by Thompson. Johnson hands it off to Shepard. Into the corner to Farrell. Down low, back to Shepard. And it's blocked by Thompson. And can't get it, but Grant the rebound. Poked out, but Shepard holds on to it. Farrell gets pushed. So first foul of the half for either side. And poked out, but look Shepherd at that exchange and holds on to it. Farrell gets pushed. Just a bit too much forearm there. Johnson with the left hand. Laramore is open. She takes a 17-footer. Bit too hard. Johnson the rebound. They have a second opportunity here. Shepard takes it up, but they say she travels. 12th turnover of the night for the Trojans. Johnson the rebound. They have a second opportunity here. Shepard takes it up, but they say that she... pressure makes all the difference when you can't dribble in front of you. Foul called there. All the difference when you can't dribble in front of you. And just a bit too much momentum into the ball handler. Farrell's first foul. And another foul called. This time it looks like it was in the act of shooting. And so... Nataya Nelson. Nelson will go to the line. No dice on the first. Farrell's first Another foul. Look at that foul. And Just trying enough. to stop the progress of the ball carrier. High arching shot. But it goes in. So lead at 17 now. Trojans need another spark. <laughs> 17 now. Another look at that one. Trojans need another spark. And just a bit too forward, not exactly straight up there. Trojans stacking things off the sideline and Inbound to Farrell works. And Johnson battling hard to the lane, gets rejected. Johnson baseline. That one poked out. The hands of Bowers. And Laramore, every part of the rim and goes in. A flash to the high post, they're giving her space. Thompson takes it. And a rebound, but quickly turned over. Ball on the floor. Stowe looking for somebody. And last touch by Little, they say. Back into the game for Senator number 22, 
Chesney Farrell checking back into the game. And they find Stowe with the reverse layup. What a look. Lead cut to 13 after a couple of possessions. The three ball from Bowers, too much. Thompson going up with it, but gets fouled. The three ball from Bowers, too much. Third team foul of the quarter for the Trojans. Thompson can't get the first free throw. Back into the game for center burn. Number three, Tiara Shepard. Tiara Shepard checking back in for Kennedy Glenn. Three oh six remaining here in the third quarter. Gets the second free throw. Three Trojans in that backcourt. Trying to give options. A good low no look pass to Chesney Farrell. But Shepard takes it all the way, pulls it back. Ball on the floor. Trojans ball, they say. Get another pulls look at back. that one on our webs. Marathon Automotive instant replay. Ball on the floor. Trojans. And great action from Farrell to Stowe as she saw that lane all the way through, fed it into her and had an easy basket with the right hand. Now great ball movement around Nelson with the six footer right outside that teardrop. Doe loses it. Now they're pushing the floor with pace. Bowers falling away. Air ball. Laramore the rebound. Just trying to get out. They do call a foul. This crowd not happy with that one. Let's get another rebound. And I do out. think she just they stepped in to obstruct Laramore on her dribble. So the crowd very vocal about this, but I do think that was a correct call. And now Farrell, the Euro step in the left with the right hand. Foul there. And nobody said on that one, so Nataya Nelson will go to the line for two. Now Johnson checking back in. This crowd's pumped. They're trying, trying to will their team back into this one with the energy. And can't get the free throw, everyone on the floor.
The jump ball will go the way of the Trojans. And can't get the free throw. Everyone on the floor. Farrell's going to take it one more time, but the rejection by Bowers. Farrell's going to take it one more time, but the rejection. Shawnee Little checking back in. Laramore takes it up, but Shepard the rebound. Shepard gets blocked. Wrapped up, another jump ball. Anthony Little checking back in. Laramore takes it up, but Shepard the rebound. Shepard that led to the transition. And now Winfrey can't get the shot, rebound Laramore. Johnson battling. Everyone wants a three seconds, I think, and a turnover. And Shepard fouls. Looks like Thompson, who went down hard. I think, and a turnover. And Shepard. So at the line for a chance to extend this lead to 13. And she does. Kennedy Glenn checking in for Kinley Farrell. Thompson, Thompson's second free throw is good. So lead at 14, 33 seconds left in this third quarter. Keeping that press on. She's got room, she's gonna take it. Just, and gets swatted out. And possession goes the way of the Nubians. She's got room, she's gonna take it. Comes up with the block and, and gets swat swats it off the player. See if they'll hold for the last shot. It looks like they may. They're overloading one side. Looks in the middle, but they throw it away. So with five seconds left, Shepard just tries to get it across half court. Stowe jacks it up. Now Johnson, no dice. So after three quarters of play, Afrocentric leading this one over Centerburg 37 to 23 here in Performance Arena. Stay with us for fourth quarter action coming up next. Open Road has really come to this community with Best Foot Forward and they have set a good example for what a solar project should look like. It's about preserving land and dual use farming. People are using the solar opportunity to, you know, add another source of income to their farms. Fortune 500 companies really want to see renewables on the grid and that's what we're helping to do. So that brings more jobs, better opportunities for recent graduates like myself to stay in Ohio and stay near our communities, our home, our families.
Bryce Cutter with the OH Report coming back to you from Performance Arena for fourth quarter action. Afrocentric leading this one by 14. Trojans trying to fight back in. And a good lob, but Shepard can't get the basket. She thought she was pushed. And a great pass there with the right hand, and the right hand from Nelson will get them two. Now Stowe throws it away, Grant the steal. She's got numbers, she'll take it all the way in. Nubian starting to run away with this one a bit. And a foul is called. Run away with this one a bit. Another look at that one, and, and a foul is called. Just a bit too much contact. And closely guarded, another steal and a foul. Evie Stowe credited with the foul. Taya Nelson shooting two. Gets the first smooth shot and closely guarded. Another steal. Another foul. And a foul. And too much force there. Now Laramore gets the basket. A little unclear about who the receiver was, but it worked out to their favor. Nelson from 13 feet gets it right back. And poked out another turnover. But a turnover back. And looks like a foul. And it is. But a turnover back. And looks like a foul. So Clara Johnson will inbound the ball. Seen this familiar stack off the sideline a couple of times tonight. Laramore hard to the rim, gets the offensive rebound. Thought she was fouled. Green set by Grant. This one on the floor. Nubians hold on to it. Kennedy Glenn checking back in for Clara Johnson. Ashton Winfrey. I'm sorry, Shawnee Little will inbound the ball to Ashton Winfrey. And with speed, but a travel. And with Another speed, look at that one, just but a bit a out of control. Back into the game for Afrocentric, number three, Faith Martin. 
Faith Martin checking back into the game for Afrocentric Early College. A great half spin there by Farrell got her around. Laramore steps into a three. Off the left backboard now with numbers. Winfrey up with it. And gets blocked by Stowe, but the offensive rebound. And hands it off to Farrell. They've got a move now. A timeout called. Holman Kitchen Supply timeout. Look here, and the Nubians have scored nine this quarter. Centerberg's two. And so the lead for the first time tonight is over 20. 448. Centerberg's got to find a way if they want to battle back into this one to get something going, find some sort of momentum or some sort of fight. And don't get me wrong, they have been fighting hard all night long, but this is a tough, tough Afrocentric squad, and not much is really stuck of everything that they've thrown at the wall tonight. So back to the floor. And swatted the 20th turnover of the night for Centerberg. With the left hand, she gets it. And Stowe is hurt there. Looks like she's gonna try to walk it off. Another look, looks like she slipped on the floor. And Stowe is she's gonna try to walk that one off. Looks like she is able to put all that weight on it. And thrown out of bounds. Now getting a look at the squads for the next game, walking on to the floor and into their locker room. Grant sends it out to three. And Martin can't get it. Laramore the rebound. Laramore tries a baseline. She gets trapped, but sends it back out to Stowe. Farrell picks up her dribble, finds Stowe. Doing a really good job of keeping them out of 15 feet, but a foul. Hear this crowd as Glenn goes to the line for two. Another look really at the replay. Keeping them out of 15 feet, but a foul. So she goes to the line for two. Sam Thompson checking back in. Oh 
Second opportunity for Johnson, it's too hard. Now pushing the floor is gonna take it all the way but can't get it, Grant the rebound and she gets fouled. Now pushing the floor is gonna take it all the way but can't get it, Grant the rebound and she gets fouled. Going to the line for two now. She has 14, can't get the first free throw. Points leader in this contad, contest is Nataya Nelson. With 16 points. And offensive rebound takes it right back up. Nataya Nelson now has 18. Laramore looking for an option. She finds one in Johnson. Laramore takes baseline, the Euro step, but they're going to say it's a travel. Another look at that, and Laramore takes baseline, the Euro Does step, but they're going to pick say up the ball and take a few more steps. Fender right in her face, hard to get the ball back on the ground. So, Jayona Overby checking into the game for the Nubians. Overby with, can't get the three ball over the back foul, looks like it's gonna be called. Now running the floor is Farrell who sends it to Stowe. Laramore sends the defense and jump shot offline. Now with numbers, Nubians taking it all the way and looks like there might have been contact there but now they'll call contact in favor of Centerberg. So fifth team foul, so she should be shooting two now, and she does. Shepard looking for her second and third points on the evening. As far as leading scorers go for the Trojans, Shepard gets the first free throw. Three players tied with six points between Evie Stowe, Chesney Farrell, Kayla Laramore. Gets the second. It's a lead cut to 22 inside of two minutes. This does spell the end of the road for the Trojans. It's been a season to remember for them. KMAC champions, 18 and six overall on the season. That's nothing to shake a fist at. Sectional champions in here in the district championship game. Afrocentric just proved a bit too much. Seniors Kennedy Glenn and 
Clara Johnson. This team will miss them dearly. And Laramore is fouled hard. A bit slow to get up, but she is up and moving. That's good to see. Clara Johnson, this team will miss them dearly. And Laramore. Just a bit too much for the first. But gets the second. Inside of 30 seconds, we'll see if they hold for the last possession. It looks like they're still applying that pressure. Kudos to them for still continuing to fight till the very end, but the Nubians are gonna come away the victors in this one, 52 to 29. Stay with us to see our MVP. Catch our post game show. And so after four quarters of play for Centric, the winners in this one, 52 to 29, they are the district champions. Stay with us for the MVP and post game show coming up next. Hi, I'm OH Report founder Brian Skaronski, and you are just watching live and free girls high school hoops exclusively on the OH Report. But stick around, the halftime show is next, including stats, analysis, and so much more, including the second. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Center Berg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations, too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Open Road has really come to this community with Best Foot Forward, and they have set a good example for what a solar project should look like. It's about preserving land and dual-use farming. People are using the solar opportunity to you know, add another source of income to their farms. Fortune 500 companies really want to see renewables on the grid and that's what we're helping to do. So that brings more jobs, better opportunities for recent graduates like myself to stay in Ohio and stay near our communities, our home, our families. All right, folks, we're going to cut back just so we can catch the Centerberg and Afrocentric trophy presentation. This is a young team. They were able to make it this far and incredible to see what they've been able to do and excited to see what they're able to do next year. Now the Afrocentric early college Nubians, the district champions. And now for the captains for Center High School, please come forward for the presentation of the team trophy. So they will receive the trophy. 
all the hard work they've put in all season long and the captains coming forward, an emotional moment for them. And everyone in this arena is on their feet honoring these girls. One last big round of applause for the Centerburg Trojan squad. What a season it's been for them in 23-24. Now introductions for Afrocentric as they receive their trophies. squad so strong this season there moving to 24 and 2 and a team like Afrocentric scoring 70 points in a game on average 52 that's good news for the Trojans but a well-deserved moment of recognition for Afrocentric as they have cruised all season long Dynasty program here. It doesn't come easy to get this good or to get to this level of basketball. A lot of hard work is needed. And a moment of recognition for them and all the hard work they've put in. So the captains coming forward to get their trophy as district champions. And they raise it high and proud. Ashton Winfrey with the trophy. Stay with us for the MVP and post game show coming up after commercial. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management. The Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Open Road has really come to this community with Best Foot Forward and they have set a good example for what a solar project should look like. It's about preserving land and dual use farming. People are using the solar opportunity to you know, add another source of income to their farms. Fortune 500 companies really want to see renewables on the grid and that's what we're helping to do. So that brings more jobs, better opportunities for recent graduates like myself to stay in Ohio and stay near our communities, our home, our families.
guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game.
like to thank all of our sponsors for allowing us to be live and free right here on the OH Report. We'd like to thank Monarch Title Services. Without the support of Rochelle Sammons and her crew at Monarch Title, Centerburg Basketball would not be available live and free to Trojan fans. If you're selling or refinancing your real estate, you get to choose the title company. Why not support those who support the Trojans and close with confidence anytime, anywhere? Spherion, Mid-Ohio, let us help you build the career you want or the awesome team you want. We build real relationships with you so we can understand what you need and get it for you fast. Webbs Marathon Automotive. Stop by Webbs Marathon to join the Webbs Rewards Program where you can earn dollars off fuel and free drinks and coffee. Go Trojans. Holman Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. And Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community.